This video I'll be showing in my opinion the easiest and one of the most available methods of making sulfuric acid at home. Sulfuric acid is the most versatile acid in the world and it has many uses, but its most prominent ones are a drain cleaner, powerful dehydrator, precursor to other acids and of course explosives. Speaking of explosives, if you're interested in explosives consider checking out my nitroglycerin video. Anyway, sulfuric acid and nitric acid is banned in Europe, but they didn't ban the precursors to the acid, so with some simple chemistry we can construct the sulfuric acid molecule with this. There are many methods to achieving the molecule of sulfuric acid. The industrial method for making sulfuric acid is burning sulfur and then catalyzing the vapor into sulfuric acid fumes and then fusing those fumes with water. However, the easiest and most cost effective method is using copper sulfate and oxalic acid. Oxalic acid and copper sulfate are cheap, can be bought on any internet store and all it takes is to combine them in a solution. When recording this video Video, I didn't have the oxalic acid on hand, so I've just decided to make some. First, to a beaker, I've added 25 grams of sugar. I've put my scale aside and I've added 50 ml of distilled water. And finally, to top it off, 12 ml of red fuming nitric acid. This is everything that we need for the creation of oxalic acid and all we have to do is just heat it up. So I've transferred the beaker onto my hot plate and I've turned on the heating. Once it passed a certain temperature threshold, the sucrose in the table sugar was broken down by the acid and then the resulting glucose and fructose are broken down further into oxalic acid. This oxalic acid is quite impure but it doesn't matter because oxalic acid can be impure and the reaction will work anyway. What's being let out here are nitrogen oxides. The red blood color that you see here is most likely nitrogen dioxide and some dinitrogen trioxide. The sugar here is in excess and it will deplete most of the nitric acid by the end of the reaction. If you're going to attempt this, I assume that you have an idea of what you're doing and you have a basic understanding of PPE and safety. Anyway, I've put the oxalic acid solution outside and I've got a new beaker. To the beaker I've added some water and then added a bunch of copper sulfate. What we're doing here is preparing a concentrated copper sulfate solution. The copper sulfate is stirred until nothing else will dissolve. I've put that solution aside and I've brought in the oxalic acid solution. In this solution there are some byproducts, it's not really a pure one but it will do for the demonstration. Although I assume that you will just use the pure one from the store. So to the oxalic acid solution I've started adding the saturated copper sulfate solution. The oxalic acid reacts with the copper sulfate displacing the two hydrogens in the oxalic acid with the copper ion. This forms H2SO4, which is our sulfuric acid, and as a byproduct, it forms copper oxalate. Copper oxalate is really bad in dissolving in water, and the reason why nothing really crystallized is probably because either the pH is too high or I just didn't give it enough time. Anyway, it's not really important because even if it crystallizes or not, we are going to purify it using distillation. The pH of the solution was tested and it got red, indicating a strong acid. The oxalic acid has a pH of 3, and the nitric acid was already depleted before the addition. To test the acid to a new picker was added some sodium bicarbonate. This didn't bubble as much as I thought it would and that's because the sulfuric acid that you will initially get will be very dilute. And so you must go ahead and concentrate it. To concentrate the sulfuric acid you can either first distill everything then boil it until dense white fumes arise or just perform a distillation but in the middle of the distillation discard the distillate. The fraction that will be discarded will contain some extremely dilute sulfuric acid and the one that will come over will be more concentrated. Continue swapping out the flasks until dense white fumes arise, which is the point where you can collect your acid. Also, buying the acid is way better than mass producing it. If you struggle to find legal acid, try searching for keywords like drain cleaner, professional drain cleaner, battery acid or battery acid electrolyte. This will give you ready to use sulfuric acid which you can safely concentrate or if it has been tampered with, purify. So that's everything, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe.